Hey everybody, my name is Gendemore, welcome back for the video of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're gonna continue this series, boys. We're ready to go speak with uh, Kilbert. Hopefully nothing bad happened to him, we just gotta figure it out. Because in the last video, we finally made peace with the Britons. After waging war, a mini war with them and stuff like that. And now we're just hoping that everything is uh, alright in their uh, place, right? So hopefully Ivar and Kirbo, both on their side, did not do any mistakes or anything. And we'll be okay. I, I believe that Kilbert's gonna be fine, or, or never mind, he's not even there. Someone here must know. I guarantee you, man, Ivar probably took uh, Kilbert uh, as hostage or took him with him. And uh, they went and did some destruction and stuff like that uh, behind my back. Or actually, no, there's Ivar. The hell? Ivar. It's or Ivar, Peace, I should say. Eh? Now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chailbert? I need to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. So actually, I'm sorry, Ivar, for uh, doubting you. I thought you went off by your own and did something stupid again, but I guess not. He's there, he's chilling. So that means Kilbert. Uh, speak to the guards near the uh, the uh, Kilbert's tent. Okay, it means Kilbert probably got kidnapped or something. I got a I got a serious idea. That's probably what happened right there. You got an idea, boys? I'm looking for Chailbert. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Okay, sharpening arrowheads. What about you? Have you seen Chailbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Arbeling. Ask another. What the fuck, man? You should. He's a goddamn prince. The hell, boys? You should probably know where he is. So, Bloody Path speaks to the guards. So, Ivar seriously doesn't know anything? Ivar, it's done. Peace, eh? Yeah. Okay, so he already told me that. What about this guy right here? Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chelbert? My brother saw him last. Of course he's sleeping. What type of guards is this? They're sleeping on the job, man. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chelbert? Chelbert? <sighs> Did none of you see Chelbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. I can't wait. How can I wake him up? Oh my god. We need a flinging matches to increase charisma. Well, I can't do that. I'll just have to How wait, I guess. How long fit to speak, would you say? A few hours should do it. Unless you find another way to rouse him. Must be some way I can wake this truck. Okay, so it will take some time for the... He said a few hours. I'm just gonna make it uh, skip the some time, I guess. I mean, I should probably go right away. We're we're gonna miss a lot of time here. If he went missing and stuff like that, uh, Chilbert, that is, he's gonna be in trouble. He's gonna need our help. But I guess I guess we gotta wait it out a little bit. Let's find out pretty quick. Uh, world inventory. I think that's where you can skip time, right? Or maybe not. Actually, it's pro is it uh, is it here? That's not it. Where the hell can you skip time at? Interesting. I don't. Oh, oh no! I forget. It's not like Cyberpunk. You can't skip time in the menu. You got to do it uh, right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you got to meditate. That's how you skip the skip time. I always forget, boys. All right. It should take him a couple of uh, of things. All right. So we skip time. We're in day night time. Yeah, he should be awake. Ah, uh, there he is. Have a nice nap. What country is this? I'm looking for Chailbert. Have you seen him? If you must know, the little brat went off hunting boar some time ago. Yes, I know. But where was he hunting? He went south. That's all I know. Probably followed the stream here, south to the forest. That's enough to go on. Thank you. All of this to know that he went south, boys. God damn it, man. I wasted, I wasted so much time right here. Uh, Kibble followed the stream south of Westbury. 
Okay, uh, let's see, look at the map really quick. So, south of Westbury, this is where we are. So, you followed the stream, they said. So, he probably went in that direction, to be honest. He, that's probably went here where he went, because if he likes fishing, right? We do know he likes fishing. He probably went there. So, let's just take our horse right here, or our wolf in that instance. Uh, go towards that direction in particular. And we'll see if we can't uh, find him or anything. Hopefully he's not in any, any trouble. But I got a feeling that he probably is. He, could, he would have returned already if he wasn't. Yeah, I was going the right direction. Good. Yeah, I have a feeling that he would have probably already be back by now if he were, it went hunting. Doesn't take that long to hunt, boys. It doesn't take an entire day. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. Hopefully he's all right. Is he all right? Oh, hold on. What the fuck is this? There's a bunch of, uh, of people here. Oh, hold on. Could be... Uh, he could be in here, actually. Oh, there we go. What happened here? This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. He probably got attacked. Okay, uh, I don't need uh, the marker anybody uh, anymore. But I went in the right direction, so there was that. Alright, hopefully he's alright. Did he get attacked by wolves? I thought he would get a kidnap or something, boys. But he just got attacked by wolves, maybe? Oh, this is not good at all. Look at all this. So he definitely defended himself pretty well. Definitely got in that direction. I don't know. Hopefully he's alright, boys. We don't want to have anything bad happen to him. Don't we? Alright, let's go. Oh, get off there. There we go. Strange cave right here. I never actually went to this cave before. Oh, I see how it is. We're going straight in, huh? All right, let's go. I'm sorry, wolves. I'm gonna have to take you down. There we go. Man, no reason. I'm just coming to their home and then killing them for no reason, boys. Not good, boys. Did not... I don't want to kill you, boys, but you're on my way right now. I did not have to do that at all. I, I just came by and started killing a bunch of wolves for no reason. That's... That's really bad, boys. I feel bad, really. Okay, so... A bunch of skeletons right here. There's a lot of stuff. Let me loot this chest and get everything that I can right here. There we go. Get a bunch of resources. Don't think there's anything for me here, so let's go back. Uh, it must be in that other area. Yeah, let's move this up, boys. Just like that, he probably barricaded himself or something like that. Let's go in. Oh no! Shit! Kill Shilbert! No! Tell me you're right. Uh, 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 Jailbert, you live. I... Oh, stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Gods. The Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. You haven't got long. We'll take you back to say your goodbyes. What the fuck? I the knew others. it, man. I'll go easy. He got attacked and then sent it to the wolves then and stuff like that. God damn it. Alright. I got you, buddy. Don't worry about it. I got Chilbert, man. He's in trouble. Boys. Good lord. Evo, what happened? No. No! You foolish boy! What did you do? I found him deep in a cave beset by wolves. Easy, boy. Easy. He... Eva. Get me an axe right fucking now! Eva. He's gone. He dead? Really? He died? His guard will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go, dear. Go. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. Do I ha do I tell him if I tell him the wars uh, the wars gonna rage on again? We need that peace. This means war. It was the Bretons. I'm sorry, we 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 have to get peace done. We failed, Chilbert. That's just how it is. We were fools. An Edling was entrusted to us in time of war. We would not protect him. I taught him to protect himself. Not well enough. 
This was stuck in his chest. A Briton's dagger. So we have no choice but to tell him about the Britons then. But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolo, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolf Kid. You spared that wet turd Leofrit. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Cheobert. Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. You'll want a Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rodri is holed up in Calstow Castle. That may have been a lie or a time slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. Let's go now. I'm ready. Didn't have much of a choice. I actually wanted to keep the peace anyways. But it seems like it's not actually an option. So if I would have known that, I, I would have chosen like a different dialogue option. But whatever. The chill bird is dead, boys. That is not good. The prince is dead. Just like that. Well, Ivar is definitely going to want some revenge now. He was literally like a son to him and stuff like that. He was like a brother and stuff. That is not good whatsoever. Well, we're just going to follow him and uh, make sure that uh, he follows the right path and stuff like that, boys. There's work to be done. Yeah, we got to go ahead and invade the, the fortress and stuff and kill that bastard. I cannot believe that uh, he went up and killed him like that, boys. All right, let me, where's my mount? Let's go, wolf. Get back in here. I need you. Let's go. I'm going much faster than uh, Ivar's horse, uh, Ivar's horse, but I need my horse, man. Much better, boys. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodre's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quadford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? It's not worth telling. It is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. Ah, they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beat. Puts me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my Drangir, sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod, and we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers, but the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boot, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I have. He definitely did. The fact that he survived all of this, uh, I think King Roger is gonna is about to regret having uh, left him alive all these years ago, boys. <laughs> it's gonna come back to haunt him for sure. And he had peace right there. I don't know why he went all bloody in there and killed Chilbert. That was stupid from him. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. 
We're going to the during the daytime. It looks like we were in the morning, but now it looks like we're more in the uh, like uh, the Let's dinner or s no not dinner, the but uh, whatever, man. The, the, for us, it's dinner in French, but uh, I guess it's uh, 12, 12 a.m. As you could say, so it's around that time, probably midday, uh, basically. So let's go there. Actually, I do have two skill points. Let's uh, figure out where I want to, uh, I guess, use them. I want to use them in that tree. There we go. So assassination damage and also heavy damage, just like that. We're now 165 of power. Never gonna really get to used to that, to be honest. I, I still want to. I don't know how I'm gonna get to the 300 mark for doing the Asgard missions, but it's gonna be take us so long. Are you ready for war? I'm ready. Let's do it. No point in waiting. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Now, what do I feel like King Roger was probably one of those, uh, is probably one of those Templars. I got a feeling he's a Templar, boys. I mean, he's got the cross, he's got everything, so he's definitely a, I, I feel like he's a Templar. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires. When I am done with Rodri, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. Casto Castle, another, uh, basically another raid. Let's get it done. Uh, already, we already know how this works. We got the battering ram and everything. Uh, do we want to? Do you want me to help you with that? Let's go. Help you with that, boys. Now we gotta brace ourselves. Brace yourself, boys. Brace yourself right there. There we go. They're attacking us with the the arrows. All right, let's go. Move. Move, boys. There we go. Protect us, guys. Protect us big time. We're getting... Uh, oh, shit. We're gonna get attacked. We're gonna get attacked. Watch out, boys. I'm moving this probably by myself. Oh, no. Okay. I'm not the only one moving it. All right. Good. Good to know, boys. It's just moving in. There's no actual point in me protecting myself, actually. It's just probably for the ones that are behind me and stuff. Yeah. I'm not telling them to uh, defend themselves, to brace themselves. So, they, uh, they're basically dying. Brace yourself, boys. Brace yourself. All right, let's go. Move, move, move. It's gonna take forever to move in. This one guy is against me. Somebody want to deal with him or... Come on, man. Jeez, they're attacking us big time. All right, let's go. Go, go. Move, move, move. I'm taking care of the battering. No, nobody else uh, is. So I'm the only one taking care of the goddamn battering ram right now. Let's go. We're moving in. I'm gonna just keep moving. I've got plenty of health, plenty of high level... Uh, I'm high enough level to uh, to get the battering uh, ram there in the first place. Let's go, man. Get it done. Move, move, move. All right, the battering ram's there. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself up. I'm gonna deal with these soldiers real quick, though. Oh, no, you don't. Kill them off. There we go. Kill them off. Kill these soldiers. All right, so now, ignite the cart. And just like that. Let's get out of the ranging zone, boys. Oh, shit. You want to go at me? Let's go, man. Now, the, the gate's probably going to explode in a minute right there. There it is. There goes the crate. All right, boys, go in. Go in, go in. We're in, boys. Um, now, normally, there should be another gate for... Um, like, I've been watching a lot of Shad Diversity uh, recently. <laughs> he keeps still saying about these types of games where... Uh, it's always missing a second gate, right? There's the first gate right here. We managed to break through it. And now all of a sudden we may break through the first gate. We're already in. 
Yes, there's a second gate. That's perfect right there, though. That's a perfect defense. There's a second gate over there, but at the very first gate, there should be a second door, like a second one that you gotta do. So I, I got a feeling that this is like badly protected and stuff. So you can explore the oil jars at it, or I can just do parkours, I guess. But I guess um, oil jars will do, right? Oil jars will do the trick probably. So. Let's just go in. Hopefully nobody attacks me. Boom! And there it is. There goes the door. Let me just kill you real quick. No, you don't. Okay, this guy's just gonna evade me every time. Don't matter then. I'm just gonna move through it, boys. We're in. Now the entire fortress is done for. Let's just help me and my uh, my partners up right here really quick. I've got plenty of little cloud berries and stuff right there. That I can take. Watch out, watch out, watch out. They're attacking us big time with these archers. Oh, God. No, you don't. You really tried, didn't you? Let me just attack you with that. I'm not taking any... Like, I'm not wasting any time here, boys. Just to kill these guys real quick. Get out of there, man. These... I'm telling you, man. These attacks... Sometimes these takedowns, they take forever. Alright, let's, let's go in. Let me take as much... Uh, b uh, cloud barrier or stuff like that that you uh, want to call it. We take as much as possible. All right, I gotta shoot this down. I already know about this. So how do I shoot this down? To be honest, I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. I gotta be on the other side or stuff like that. Where where is it at? Where is it at? Hold on. Oh god, I gotta get there somewhere, somehow. Um, maybe I can jump. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I can probably jump from this side. Okay, uh, jump, 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 jump down, jump down, there we go. Go on that side, and now we should be good. I should be able to, there we go. Get from that side. Keep jumping, what are you doing? Don't, don't let up, don't let up. There we go, finally. Don't know why I kept, uh, I kept going down and stuff like that. There we go. I'm invading you. I'm invading you, I'm right there. I'm gonna take care of these guys, boys. Don't worry about it. I know I gotta open the gate and stuff, open, uh, lower the, uh, the drawbridge and, and all, but I can deal with these guys first uh, in the bridge itself. Let's go. Lower it. Never mind. Let's just kill these guys. All right, go, 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 go. How do I lower this shit? Oh, there we go. Just like that, right? Yep. Lower the bridge. Where's it at? Oh god. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What the hell, man? Can't, oh my god, it's blocking my view. What the fuck? Are you, is, this is annoying. Let me just drop down, I guess. Drop down, boys. There we go. That's gonna be much better. If I just drop down, I'll kill these guys that are waiting for us as well. While we're at it. Kill them off, boys. There we go. Just get stabbed to death. Just like that. Okay, uh, next up. Let me uh, break that shit down. There goes the bridge. Guys, go in. Let me open this door. Force open this. I'm gonna wait uh, for these guys to come in and help me out. Let's go. Do I need... I ha I need somebody right here. Where's everybody at? Let's go, man. Help me out. Let me out force this shit up, man. They've got a lot of fortresses. It's actually a really good... A really good castle. A really good fortress. They've got a lot of defenses and stuff like that. I'll pick them out. Yo, is there anybody that's gonna actually help me out? Are you bugged out again? Goddamn game, stop bugging out. Help me out. Alright, there goes Ivar, boys. Finally. Finally, help me out. You make a pitiful dragon. Wait, he's not dead, is he? I don't think he's dead. Wait. Right. That's the assault, sure, but the king's not dead. I'm pretty sure he's just knocked down. 
he wouldn't that that would be super anticlimactic if he just went down like that if she just died just like that the rotting old dog. he's not dead yeah he's no. not dead i have something else planned spectacle remember let him go he's dying finish him quickly I won't say let him go. He he, he killed Chilbert. That's on mis like that's a mistake by his part. He's dying. Uh, let me just uh, finish him quickly. He's nothing now but a sad sack of flesh. Kill him and be done with it. Oh no, this will be good. I have something specific in mind, a place and a method. Come. All right, let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Alright, looks like Mr. King. I'm bringing you with me on my horse. Ivar has got something planned for you. If it were just me, I would have killed you already. But uh, it looks like Ivar has got something much more tra traumatic for you. Much worse, so... There's no we'll need see. for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die. No, no, no. He must die with style. Are you really sure that's necessary? Huh? Alright then. If it's necessary, then whatever, whatever, man, I guess. Let's go, Ivar. Dying moan, huh? He's dying. <laughs> So that hurt him, that was like a, what, a concussion or something? I thought he, that was not going to kill him at all. I thought it was just not going to knock him out. I guess it did more than knocking him out. It killed him uh, slowly. That's crazy. It's one hell of a blow, a blunt force then. All right, then. Uh, yo, Ivar, you want to you wanna start moving up a little bit more faster and stuff like that? Because we got somewhere to go. Come on, Ivar. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Yeah, it's not my place. He, it's Ivar's decision. I'm the kingmaker and he's the king killer. That's just how it is. I think it has another purpose than Holmes, but uh, we'll, we're about to see. So can I carry him? Carry him. There we go. Get the goddamn king on my shoulders. Let's see what he's got planned for him. I don't know if I want to witness whatever it is that he's got planned, boys. But uh, uh, whatever it is, it's going to be pretty bad, I got a feeling. Hold him up there to the top and keep him breathing. Finish this quickly, Ivar. here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar is this the birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold my friend first I slice the length of your spine <laughs> Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He's doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. Fog between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. 
Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of mercy, I can see him now. I've seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Eivor. Goodbye. Poor Chaelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. Then, nothing. You sick fucking backrot! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. ...and become King-Killer... ...forevermore. Traitor! Sherbert was... ...like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss... ...to a glorious death! Do I have to... See, if it was just me, I would've pitied him, boys... ...and I was just left away. I would've went away. I'm gonna have to kill you... ...not out of revenge... Out of pity. You are a sight for sorry eyes, my guy. You are truly a sight for sorry eyes. I am sorry that you uh, did that. No, you don't. No. All right. Let's go. You want to deal with me, man? I'm. S it's really bad, man. The fact that you you try to kill uh, like you killed a killbird like that. Can't believe you did that. Why would you do that, my guy? Unbelievable. You're gonna live. If I get the option, you're gonna live. I'm not even gonna kill you. You're gonna live with the fact that you killed that guy. It might be dishonorable for me to let you live after a fight for a fight to the death. But, um, you know, I knew you were no bad the second you were there. It's unbelievable that you went for the kill right there. You went for the kill, honestly. Like, seriously, what, what is wrong with you, man? I thought we were allies. When your brother hears of this, you won't get away with it. What is this? Hold a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. What is it? Feel stronger already. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? What? Wait, wait a minute, that was... Really? You go... Oh, alright! You're gonna play dirty, I didn't e I couldn't even answer that. He's just gonna play dirty on me, huh? Alright. See, that's not how it works. That is not how it works, my guy. You can't just... Uh, pull off a, a, a Gideon on me. You just can't do that. If you think you're gonna try and get me from behind. approach my axe Eivor hand me my weapon Eivor give it here to Helheim with you Eivor Does it deserve to be to Valhalla, boys? I was gonna spare him, but since I killed him, why would I give him the opportunity to go to Valhalla? He literally betrayed my trust, he betrayed my friendship, attacked me from the back. He was an asshole. The fact that he went off and killed Chilbert like that, 
What a fucking Bring asshole. Body to Quartford. We'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Abba. Tell him his brother is dead. I would probably tell if I were if I was you, uh, Abo, I would probably uh, uh, send a message to Abba as well and tell him that his brother was no is not uh, not only dead but he was also a traitor, and as a, as such he got killed by me and my blade. You uh, you should tell him. You probably won't take it right, but that's just how it is. You should know his place as well, right? Just tell him to know his place, just in case he has some stupid ideas like that as well. Unbelievable, man. I, I still can't believe Ivar just went off and killed him like that. We were allies, betrayed that, ally, oh, that alliance. Just for that, we should probably kill Uba as well. His entire family should die just like that, boys, for betraying my trust. But uh, we'll let it slide for now. Or now we'll give uh, Uba a second chance. Uba is this uh, people a second chance. Speak to Dear Ralph. For where is that at? So let's go to the uh, the world. Where's that at? Are we going back to our camp or what's going on here? Man, we got a lot of stuff in our camp. Oh yeah, that's for the event and stuff, right? Yeah. All right, we're back in Quartford, boys. As you can see, there was a big ass smog or big ass storm going on right now. I don't know how, but uh, we're back in the in Quartford. Let's go talk to. Uh, Dear, uh, dear laugh. Yeah. Uh, I've dealt with Ivar once and for more, uh, once and uh, once and for most, and at least he's not gonna give us any more trouble. Able. But damn. Hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Abba. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace. I killed him. Exactly, I gotta tell him. After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rothery to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? Ivar died well, he died badly, he wanted death, and he got it. Death at my hand was his final aim. He wanted the glory of a bloody end. An end you did not deny him. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. Here's the thing. I denied him, Valhalla. He's not going there. He lived life by his own rules. I don't think you're gonna see him what there, buddy. Can say better. He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheowulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. We got an ally of ally of this place. But in doing so, we lost a young prince, a traitorous snake, and also uh, we lost a lot of things, boys. We gotta, you know, you gotta sacrifice things for gaining stuff. I guess sometimes it's just how it is. Bring her battle song. The boneless one sails into her, singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's holy corpses. 
He's not going there. I'm sorry, Ubaba. He's just not going there. Yeah, it's time to talk to Renvi. This arc is complete, boys. Another, another area completely under my control. King Killer, all right. We defeated, um, we defeated the King Killer, boys. All right, uh, let's just see right here. The way he acted, he acted like, literally like a, a goddamn Templar right there. I know he wasn't. He was a true warrior, uh, art and art, but he made a mistake thinking that he could just go in like that and like literally act like a dumbass like trying to attack people for no reason kill chilbert who didn't do nothing to him like was his goddamn like brother and son uh, to him and stuff like that and he killed them anyways what an asshole would have done that to uba just to fight me unbelievable uh, uh right there so let's just go back to the camp talk to uh renvi and figure out what our next move is all right boys we're back let's go boys uh let's just Going to uh, hey, here, talk you? to Renvi, ready to do whatever this is. Talk to, to do, talk to Reveler Alwyn. Man, we got a couple of side quests that we got to do. A lot of side quests I got to do, but uh, no time for this, boys. Got to talk to Renvi. But at a grievous cost. Young Chailbird was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a game. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. Well, there's another location for us, boys. We're moving uh, very fast into the lands right here. We got some silver out of this. And that's about it. Uh, next move. Let's uh, figure this out. Let's figure out where we want to go for the next move, boys. Alliance map. Uh, we got all of these. You can see right here. All of this is ours now. Um, I don't know. So we can go for the scent. Which is over here in the south completely. Uh, 130 of power. This is still way too much for us. And uh, this over here is 190. Jorgvik. We're not really connected there too much. We probably should connect there first. I don't know. Feels like we, uh, we just gotta keep moving south it looks like. It looks like the best option is to move south, boys. Uh, let's see what that, uh, what's going on over there. Tell me more about Kent. Has or Kent. Sorry about that. I said Sant earlier. He has taken shelter at Saint Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing you mentioned. But if he has found the Paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. So we got some good ideas as to where Fulke, uh, Fulke could be. Could, she could be over there. Uh, I'll pledge myself to Kent there. Or we we do have to sa save our brother, e even though I feel like once we uh, find him, he'll probably uh, be a uh, uh, a Templar and stuff like that at this point. What do you want? Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. You must join us. You must join us. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your yarl? A fine way of putting it, wolf kissed. But go, find the yarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. Dag is a piece of shit. He truly is a piece of shit, isn't he? Doesn't leave me alone. I got stuff to do, my guy. Not my fault they want me, the game wants me to do them. Stop bellering me with this shit. Oh, what an asshole. What an asshole he is. Alright, so let's start, uh, Let's uh, listen to Redo really quick. He, he's saying something about... Uh, there we go. About origins. Kingly in nature, 
but not in fact. A protector of holy wisdom. And this protector had a wife, a scholar, who spent her days reading ancient tomes and deciphering the secrets of the desert. Together they had a son, in whom they hoped to instill all their skill and knowledge. The boy was to be a union of their love. But then it came to pass that the king of that land arrived to seize the temple for himself. The protector resisted. In the battle that followed, the boy was killed and the temple was taken. Struck with grief, the protector and the scholar separated. A king who kills a child is an air deed. They should kill him back. Indeed. But for a long time, the protector and the scholar followed solitary paths, seeking for a way to revenge their son. But in their isolation, they found only anguish and pain. Alone, they could do nothing but weep and thrash at the fates. After many fruitless years, they came together again to mourn their failure. They embraced as they had in their youth. And in that joining, they realized what was missing. Only the union that had produced their son would lead to their victory. So the protector taught the scholar to fight and ride and seek, while the scholar taught the protector wisdom and deep knowledge. As they trained and studied, they became inseparable, moving, eating, sleeping as one. They were never seen apart. Until one day, they met upon the river's edge. They had learned all they could. Her from him. Him from her. It was here they kissed and separated. She traveled east. He west. They were never seen again. It is said, however, that once every year, two eagles would return to that very spot to linger and look upon the sea. The people of the region like to see these eagles, for they are an omen, a symbol of protection. They turned into birds, like Loki became a salmon. Perhaps. Still, others say that the eagles were their children, born of a love that could never endure. But who is to say for sure? A, a great story about Reda right there. Fanciful but sincere enough. Me? Fanciful? All of my stories are perfectly and mostly true. I am sure they are. I mean, you knew all about Origins. You're some sort of god, don't you? Aren't you? Because uh, the, the fact that you're still a child and you were there when your uh, Origins was a thing. Yeah, I think you're some sort of god, boys, a deity or something. But uh, we'll figure that out, uh, out on another time. Uh, I guess we can talk to him, but uh, we'll do that in the next video, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.